Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much again for being here and for all of your support. Now, if you haven't checked out my Instagram account, it is Maui underscore Noelle, so I hope you'll join me there as well. I would love to interact with you in the comments there as well as the ones below this video. Today Today I have Upbox for you, which is a very popular box here on YouTube, so you've probably seen it before, but I'm just excited to open it again because the last time I opened it for you, I said that I was going to have to take a little bit of a break just for budgetary reasons, but they had a fantastic sale going on, so I was able to resubscribe for another three months. Now normally Upbox is $39.95 per month, but again, I got a great deal and I'm very excited to support this company, not just because I appreciate the fact that they are a faith themed box with great items but also just because they are so interactive with their subscribers they're really often encouraging people they've sent me like personal notes and I really appreciate that sort of hands-on a real connection to their community um, and that's what makes this box so special in my opinion now I will say that this box came in a slightly bigger brown box and sometimes they do that and you get a few extra treats there were a few extra treats it came a little bit before Valentine's Valentine's Day, those are all gone because I went through and got all those bits of chocolate and munched them all. So besides that though, I did get another headband. This was in a previous box that I received, this beautiful velvet headband in kind of black and gold. And I've actually been using one for my sheet masks in the evenings. So it's great. Now I have one I can alternate between the two. And then there were also a couple of like note cards, really pretty hot pink ones, this one says, you are all together beautiful, my darling. And then this little scripture card says, you are beautiful in every way. And that's Song of Solomon 4-7. I'm guessing that these are probably from another box, but I love having them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of these postcards and scripture cards that I'm getting from different subscriptions, but I'm filing them all away and eventually I will do something. And then finally, another extra that was in here, or maybe it just didn't fit in the box, but I'm guessing it was an extra, is from the Linden Candle Company. Company, and it's just this little tiny it's kind of a very like a wide and shallow tea light and see it's really pretty and it is vanilla pumpkin and marshmallow two ounce soy candle with a wood wick and it has got that really sweet almost like creme brulee scent almost like makes me think of fall and fall is my favorite season and it's when I first started doing all of these subscription boxes and unboxings so I can't wait to get back into it I can't believe we're already sort of emerging from winter and going into all of our spring boxes but that just means that we are closer to summer and fall so I'm okay with it now this is the box this is the same box that they send all the time it is beautiful it's a little bit like laminated so it's definitely a good reusable box for storage and organizing for whatever reason there is a bunch of hot pink glitter in here so it has been all over my office all week and I I don't know exactly where it came from what what it was on but but it's everywhere now. So I keep finding it like on random socks and like in other rooms. So inside, hot pink, that has definitely been a theme in a lot of the boxes. And then I have like a handwritten note, which I think is so sweet. And this little heart sticker is so beautiful. I love that. Um, so let's see what it says. Inside it says, it's really cute. It says, you make my heart happy. I love that. And then inside, Hi beautiful, we can't wait to see your unboxing video. So see, they even know who I am. They've seen some of my videos. They know that I'm making this video today. So thank you so much, gals. I really appreciate, like I said, all of your support and encouragement, especially as a super small, brand new YouTuber. Inside it says XOXO, Gossip Girl here. <laughs> That's all I ever think of when I see XOXO now. Um, man, I loved that show. It was just so like, such a fun, like young adult soap opera. All right, definitely not the most Christian themes in it, but it was definitely fun. <laughs> All right, inside, here we go, XOXO, once again, let's see what this says. Again, we've got that beautiful hot pink, and so this is, the theme is love covers, because love covers. This line from 1 Peter 4, 9 is what struck us this month as we were praying over themes and as we were thinking about how to encourage you in February, the second month of this new decade. The meaningful intentions of that inspired line became clearer. So let me hold it up 
for you try to get that ring light out so often too often really we love on the surface sometimes sadly surface ish habit of love extends also to how we love ourselves and more importantly our loving creator love goes beyond the surface as that verse implies for it to cover our faults disappointments and to extend beyond ourselves to our intimate friendships partnerships and family members it needs to be deeply rooted so yes i mean it is so easy to say i love you and uh, you know we we always say it we sign off with it we call each other love on a daily basis but it's always important to really like feel it and know where that's coming from and depending on what your love language is to really show it um so I, I appreciate the reminder and that's why i'm okay with the hallmark holiday of valentine's day just because it's it's always great to promote love and to let us pause for a moment or two to think about where that comes from who we love how we love them how we can express that all right so inside oh it looks like it's a little journal i thought it was just a piece of paper it does have scripture on it, it says for with God nothing shall be impossible, Luke 1 37. So that's kind of pretty. I'm not usually like a big floral person, but I do like appreciate these like kind of thinner notebooks. Sometimes you can get these beautiful journals, but then you're like never going to like really fill the whole thing up. And it's just like a wide ruled journal. So that's kind of good. Um, if you haven't watched some of my videos from last week, I had really extreme like vertigo, like land sickness. And I got to the point where the medication that they prescribed me, it actually caused such blurred vision that I couldn't even see. So all of that experience you guys just really made me thankful for everything we have the ability to see to stand up to express our love for one another it was very humbling and I am very happy to be back so right here is the box and of course my eye always goes to the chocolate especially because I already ate all the extra chocolate that they gave me in the box so inside first we have this Hershey's milk chocolate covered marshmallow heart yay I'm not like super into marshmallows but I just got some marshmallows from my um the introverted chick box and um while i say i'm not into marshmallows i sure was into those ones because those disappeared super duper fast so i'm sure that i will love that anything with chocolate really like you could put chocolate on ants you know there's so many things that you can get dipped in chocolate and i'm probably kind of okay with most of them all right so then i'm seeing they always have these little note cards this is says put on love it's got a whole bunch of confetti or excuse me of glitter it's Col colossians 314 but it's kind of neat so this is the under the undercard you can see how the top piece is a little bit smaller and then it just opens up and you can put that into this little envelope so it's always handy to have a little extra stationery there and then we've got some more chocolate. This is from Lint. It is strawberries and cream. I always love these truffles. Um, my husband's always like, can I eat that? Can I eat this? Where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? And I'm always like, it came from a box. And no, you cannot. Yes, you can, because I love you. I will share. All right, this is beautiful. I've seen this in some of the spoilers, you guys. This is a candle. It is Berries and Cream Light My Candle Co. Soy Wax 7 Ounces from New York. But look how pretty it is. So you can kind of see it almost looks like cake sprinkles here along the bottom. And it's a nice size. Sometimes we get a lot of like little like travel candle sizes, which is funny because you can't really actually travel with candles because hotels frown upon that. And it's got like a little hair tie on it that you can take off. Um, I don't use a lot of hair ties, but I use hair sticks. So I know I say I don't use hair ties and people are probably wondering, do you just wear your hair down all the time? I wear hair sticks. Let's see just simple oh man it does really smell like strawberries and it doesn't like it doesn't smell like artificial strawberry which is nice it actually smells like someone blended up strawberries and strawberries are like one of my favorite fruits ever and so i actually really like this i don't usually like really like sweet scent candles like i think i like them and then i burn them and they kind of give me a headache but this is like fruity enough that i think it might be all right so excited so here, you guys, I have a love-hate relationship with socks. So there's socks in like almost every subscription box. I don't wear a lot of socks. I definitely prefer when, if it's a fashion kind of thin sock, it's more of the ankle sock because I can actually use those in like tennis shoes or something. Um, or I can use them around the house when it's like just cold enough on our hardwood floors that I need a sock, but not like a super warm fuzzy sock. But like I generally just don't wear fashion socks, especially not the ones that go above the ankle. But these are actually really cute and I kind of like the, the color. I like the lavender and yellow hearts. So I might set these aside. These might make it into my very very small stash of socks also socks just take up a ton of space in your dresser so um and i always like to fill my dresser with other other stuff there's so much stuff in this box you guys all right let's keep going so this is green bubble gorgeous 
and it is sugared black raspberry vanilla, a whipped blend of organic butters and oils, hydrating, soothing vegan body butter. It is super light. Like it feels like it's a marshmallow or something. Let's see if it's open. Oh, look. So you can actually see the texture. Focus, focus, whipped. Yes. All right. Um, whoo. Um, I can smell the black raspberry for sure. It's like, it's kind of like, it feels like butter. Like it's not, I thought it was going to be like, um, I thought it was going to be like, like a little fluffier and, um, marshmallowier, but it's actually like butter. It has a little bit of a solid quality to it. Not too greasy. I'm not really sure how to use that. I know now I touched it, so I can't really pass it on to anyone, but it didn't come with a seal, so I don't usually like to pass those on to people anyway. The ingredients are organic shea butter, organic coconut oil, organic olive oil, and phthalate-free fragrance oil. So I love when something has under five ingredients. That usually means it's the good stuff. Um, it is greenbubblegorgeous.com. So I might look, look up a little bit more about them. So the scent actually kind of like evaporated pretty quickly, like it's very faint, so I like that. I'm not sure how you like use it though, like how you'd like dip into it, because you can't really scoop into it. It's gonna get like stuck under your nails and stuff. So I might have to use one of those little scoops that I have from like some other body care things to get in there really. Um, there's a little card here. It just says, question, what are five ways I'm going to practice soul and self-care this month? So that's a nice little reminder to have. I think, um, in the introverted chick box, I had some little like card reminders too. Those are always good to have around. And then here are some little business cards. Again, same sort of idea. And this is fun. It says you're the best. Oh, and, and then on the back, it's got this like little checklist. How cute is that? And you can tell someone it's got like a uh, adverb, so one of those L-Y words, and then you can check off all of those different amazing adjectives. Awesome, considerate, cool, crazy, creative, determined. Man, this is like the first five and I hope I'm all of those things, but I definitely know that many of my friends are all of those things. So I think that's really fun. Um, uh, the studio that I work at, I think it would be really fun to just kind of like leave this for the next person that's going to be there. What a sweet touch. The next thing I am seeing is by K&S Soapworks. It is a more raspberry vanilla, so so they have their theme of love covers, but they also seem to have this like kind of berry and vanilla scented uh, theme. It is a whipped sugar scrub, exfoliant cleanser, and moisturizer. Look at all of the glitter, you guys. Like it is stuck everywhere. I'm gonna be finding this glitter into the summer, I can guarantee you because glitter just sticks on everything. So this does have a seal, one of the ones that you ripped down. I'm not gonna open it up and smell it because I do have a lot of sugar scrubs going on right now, and I definitely think that I would like to pass this and all of the glitter that comes with it onto someone else. So we'll put that off to the side. So much stuff in these boxes, you guys. You really do get your value. Um, even if you were paying full price for sure it's just for me again i try to keep my budget a little bit more in check because i do have more more subscriptions than any normal person should really have so this looks like a bath bomb and again if you've been watching my subscription unboxings for any time you know that i'm not a bath girl i really love shower steamers but i just don't usually get into the bath but this is really cute it is by mad lab bath and body which we have gotten some of their products before in up boxes and it just says love is self-care and i'm seeing that it is black raspberry vanilla so again they've got that theme going throughout which i really think is sweet and then this i think is a foldable emery board so it looks like one half of an emery board huh so it looks like it's just like a magnet maybe it's not an emery board so it does like just kind of fold maybe it's like a money clip or something i'm not really sure i wonder if there's a product sheet usually there's a product sheet and um, it will tell us what everything is. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm not seeing it. So I'll keep looking and hopefully it's in here. Otherwise they have some really great um, social media. So I'm sure I could figure it out from there and all of the other unboxings. Then we've got some tea and tea is another one of those things you guys that comes in so many subscription boxes. In fact, there are so many subscriptions that are even centered around tea. I just started opening one called Tea Pray Love. This is some red rose uh, strawberry cheesecake naturally flavored tea and it's tea bags which one of the things I was saying is that we're all being very fancy with our tea these days lots of loose leaf amazing tea from different amazing growers but uh, sometimes I'm lazy especially when I need a cup of tea I don't necessarily want to go through the process of scooping it out and putting it in a diffuser making a whole pot and it's like the ease of just putting a tea bag in some boiling water 
is really, really great. And I'm excited about the strawberry cheesecake flavor, honestly. Um, I can get fancy with my tea and be very like, you know, like the really like natural, almost bitter flavors, but I also really like a sweet tea where I don't feel like I need to add sugar or cream or anything to it. This is super cute. This is like a little gift bag. It's like in that material of a reusable shopping bag. So let me just pull it up. Super duper cute. So that would be a great item to re-gift anything here that I might not use. For example, that like sugar scrub. That'd be really cute. I think it'll actually fit in there, but it's a pretty, really big sugar scrub. Maybe the bath bomb to the, my uh, friend that I give all my bath bombs to. I'll put that in there. And then inside we've got some more fun things. This is a Nescafe uh, blend and brew. It's great to have like some of these when you're traveling and you don't have your trusty Keurig or your fancy whatever coffee machine that you guys use at home is. I'm just looking inside and trying not to like pull out more foozles and more of the sparkles, but I'm not actually seeing, like I said, one of those product sheets that tells me to make sure that I got everything. The only thing that I'm a little bit confused about is of course this little magnet, but I do think it's just a clip to kind of keep things together. It would probably keep a few sheets of paper together instead of a paper clip that kind of like bends things up. Um, but let me know, what is your favorite item? What do you think of up boxes? Like I said, it's not like overtly in your face Christian. There's just some sweet like quotes, some sweet reminders that they put in there to like give us pause, to make us give thanks, to think about love and how um, forgiving love is. That's one of the most important, amazing things about it. Um, other than that, I hope if you enjoyed this unboxing, you will give it a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.